Hello guys, this is Carlton uh, once again and I'm here to take you on how to connect a block module in Zipac and maybe to change the color uh, according to the grades that you have on the block module. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is to connect uh, to the folder which contains your block module. So in this case, my block module is in the tutorial folder. So I will make that folder is a, I will set it as a working directory. So after setting it, then you go to the block module that you need to use. In this case, the one written block module. Then you left click on it. Then you drag and release on the on the viewing window. Then from there, you if you check the block module, if you want to know which one is the block module, the block module is the one with the extension MDL when we are using SEPAC. So, which means this one is a block module, this again is another block module. So, after dragging that block module, there are two more ways that you can do it. Either you can drag it as the first, uh, like what I did the first time, or you can go to block module, then go to a new then you open then you find the block module again select it then you press open then you just say apply then after applying if you look closely on this bottom mid section there is the block module okay you then, then you know that it has been connected even if you check this window it says loading module uh, block module so you then left click on it then you can say display or you can go again to the block module uh toolbar then go to toolbar uh, to block module then you say display still it will give you the same results then here we say uh, where it's written blocks we leave it as, as it is then you just say apply when once you apply the, this is our block module without any constraints on it. Then from there, what I like to do normally so that I know I'm using the correct block module, uh, or if my uh, my string file and my DTM are correct, I usually drag the string file and the DTM to the block module. As you can see, my DTM and my string file sits correctly on the block module. So from there, what I can do, I can go to block module again, then I want to add constraints. The constraints that we are going to be using are the ones which will determine the, the grade that we want for the block and the area that we need for the block for us to check whether or our mining operations are going properly or where is our high grade or our low grade. So when you go to constraint, you may go to new constraint file or you can go, go to new graphical constraint. It still gives you the same and the, the same results so i'm going to use constraint file what i do first you go here where it's written constraint type you select the type that you want to do so for the first constraint type i'm going to use constraint by dtm so i say dtm then i apply then dtm file you now select the dtm file that you need to use for the constraint in this case i'm going to use this one written first uh, half one dtm this DTM is already in the folder that I had selected as my working directory. That's why you need it is important to use the uh, working directory in all your, your folders. Then you just say open. It now there is a tick where it says above. When you uh, agree to above, it means it will only show you uh, things which are above the DTM. In this case, we want uh, the grades which are below the DTM, the ones which we have in mind yet. So I'll, I'll click on that so that we won't have a tick on above. Then we just go to add. As you can see, our first constraint, our constraint A is not is now added here. So then now it says it now says constraint B, name B. Now we select the other constraint that you might need. In this case, we want a constraint by blocks. Uh, when we are saying constraint by blocks, we mean constraints which you when we were making the blocks there are some values that we had added uh, for example the grade uh, material class rope type the sg and so forth so in this case i'm going to use grade as you want the grade of our four 
then from there i will say greater than because you want the great which is greater than the uh, 0 0.5 for this tutorial you can even go as far as one seven it all depends on the type of mining and the grade that you want to establish so from there i'll say end then if you <laughs> then is now you can see that the constraint b is now added which is grade which is greater than 0 0.5 then if you come here the way it says keep our blocks partially in the constraint it now depends on how you want to view your data you want those ones which are partially in the constraint or not so in this case you can check it then save constraint i will usually skip this one uh, constraint combination then save constraint constraint to now we want to save uh maybe the constraint that we have created we might want to use it for another day so i can save it as a uh, truth then the, the file extension will be dot dot c o n then i'll just say save and apply as you can see now it's processing if you can check to the right corner wait then you can break the constraint after it is now you can break the constraint after it is loaded you can go to touch constraint then you just drag it to the uh, operating window and you can see these which means these are the grades which are above 0 0.5 so that's how you load the constraint now I want to teach you on how to color the constraints by attribute. You just go to blocks and you say uh, display color by module by attributes. Then you say apply. Then you select the range that you want. So from here we are saying from 0, 0, 0,05 to 6, you want to grade, which is uh, from from grade 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, to six, sorry, uh, grams per ton. That's what we want, and we want it to constrain it every one meter interval. So we say refresh here. They need to show you the first one, second one, third one, up to the last one. Then you just say apply. As you can see, our areas, our blocks are now colored by constraint. So you can go to block again, display, then you can say view uh, attributes for one block. Depending on the block that you want to view, in this case you want to view this blue block, then you can just click there. It will tell you uh, the block size and the grade which is there. In this case it's 0, 0.3. It can even tell you the material, whatever information which is applied on that block. Then you can just say apply or cancel. Then you can move around you can see where your high grade is in this case you can mine this area if you are targeting this higher grade i uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video make sure to like and subscribe so that you can continue making other videos like this thank you guys bye